Hey people, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play I Wanna Kill the Camellia Free. In the last episode, we finished off stage 1 and got to the very first boss. So now, let's just get right into the boss fight. Now, because I have not seen any sort of boss material from this game yet, I don't really know what to expect. I mean, stage 1 wasn't that hard, but again, I have no idea what to expect from this boss. Obviously, the first boss in I Wanna Kill the Camellia 2 was very easy, but <laughs> obviously Camellia 3 is a lot harder. So, I guess I can just hope for the best. Okay, let's get to trying to understand this. Okay, so I want to avoid these and then get out of the center. And then that person fires two quick bursts at me, which I have to avoid. Not sure if they're at some sort of pattern. And I should also probably try to damage Flandre Scarlet as much as I can during this first phase. Even though right now I probably shouldn't bother too much. Right now I probably should just focus more on learning all of the attacks. Okay, so avoid those bursts. Okay, we have a some, some sort of blindness effect. Now, I do have the option of going over to the sides, but I don't know if that is going to be that beneficial. Since I have more time to react, but I also have less room to work with. Let's just see if we can... If That looks like a pattern, and I'm pretty sure it is. So... If I see it right, I think I know exactly how to do that attack. Alright, avoid the two bursts, and now since this is a continuous stream pattern, I should just be able to go to the end and then back to... Whoa! Okay. There was lightning, and then I got sniped. <laughs> um... So just avoid that from under or above, I guess. I think easier would be to just jump over it. And over. And one more time. Yo! Okay. To the sides, I think. For that one, I have to go to the sides, because that is way too dense to avoid in the middle. Okay, to the sides. And easily avoid that. I'm guessing back to the middle? Not sure. Oh man, more blindness. I'm gonna go all the way to the side here. Oh man, orbs. Okay. You know, I think going to the side here is actually a good idea. Since... Spikes, of course. Since those... that... those bullets that got, like, fired there... They're a lot more... less... a lot less dense on the sides. And since they're going so slow, I can actually just read them just fine, despite the blindness effect again. And I think you could probably do it from the middle, but it would be much harder. Okay, so there the spikes came out from the side, so I'm guessing I have to go to the floor. Oh! Is it perhaps that 
when the lightning strikes, that's when the spike locks onto my vertical position. Because right there you saw the spike just went kind of over. So I'm not sure if it if that's what's happening here. If it is, then I not sure how to deal with it. Okay. For now I'll just have to rely on luck I suppose. Okay, stay there. And just um Um okay. Don't stay there then. Go to the middle and make that person spawn on the other side. To the side and jump to the middle and now this should all be pattern. This isn't like it was before but I can still try to make sense of it. And I need to remember as soon as that attack stops I need to jump off. The the bullets will disappear, but not the orb, so I have to watch out for that. All the way over here. No, okay. Is it random where she spawns? I'm not sure. Because it really seems like it. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Oh my god. What are these? Are you gonna jump? Are you... I don't... What? Help? These look very unpredictable. Those ones don't jump. Okay, so... I'm guessing... I have to jump over all those. And at some point, they're gonna stop jumping. I think towards the end. When I have to jump over that really big cluster. I honestly don't really know what that attack really is. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I can actually avoid her easier on the right side. But it's not gonna happen now, so I'll just have to deal with this. Yeah, it, it looks a lot harder on the left side. Anyway, let's go. Come on, bring it. Jump, please. Think. Oh. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> probably shouldn't have run into that big one then. I knew he was gonna jump at one point. These mushrooms are very unpredictable, but I think. I think they shouldn't be that hard, and since it's such a small wave. It's it's really really doable. Okay, come at me. Jump. Jump. Thank you. Jump. Jump. Don't. Oh. <laughs> okay, I probably shouldn't have expected that one to jump, since I had to jump over the big cluster. But yeah, that attack is really weird, and I think very RNG dependent. Right side is best side in this case, since it is basically 100% safe. There are no warps interfering with you whatsoever. Okay, dodge you, dodge you, and jump over the last one because you can't trust the last one. Okay, and then just wait a little more, and then that should be that. If it really is that easy, then that really shouldn't be a problem. You 
good jump. And nice! Oh, Mo Moria. Okay. And you're not gonna show me what's next, okay. That seems like a pretty generic attack. Not too easy, slightly hard, but not too hard. One hundred percent record remains pristinely unbroken. Please jump, thank you. You too. And boom! Okay, I'm gonna stand over here because this looks a lot easier to read. And that was close, I think. Does she jump away when you die or when she just finishes the attack? I'm assuming that me dying does not affect her jumping away. <laughs> so, if that is the case, then I'm pretty close to finishing that attack. But again, I'm not sure if the jumping away is influenced by my demise. <laughs> good. A bit close, but good. Jump. Jump. Don't jump. Okay. No! I... That was... That was pretty good. I just gotta keep it up. Yes! Okay! Okay, she jumped away there, that time, before I died. Okay, so I found out that the middle is actually less dense than the outside. At least, that's what I think. And that you can avoid the mushrooms easier if you just jump over them right after they come from the left side. And it makes sense if you think about it. But yeah, that, uh, that, was, a good that was a good attempt. Yes! And back up. Okay, bullets. Yo! How long is this gonna go on for? Do I have to kill her? Oh, is that the final phase? She was almost down there. Okay. Okay, I think... I think I got this. There we go. Is that it? <laughs> of course. Oh boy. Yo. No! How long is that? I don't know how long it is, but... If it's just that? With just enough skill? Oh, that's how long it is. Yeah, that's doable. I can do that. Uh, man. Alright, so... This is just that left, I'm su I suppose. That, that's actually pretty good. Another attempt. Here we go. Oh, that was good! That was a lot better than the first attempt. And it's so close to the finish! That is like five or three seconds... No, probably more like five. <laughs> but like five seconds away from the end. I can so do this right now.
That was a good attempt. <clears throat> but I, I think I'm getting <clears throat> I think I'm slowly getting better at this. Why up there? Thank you. <laughs> yes! Yo! That wasn't actually that hard. Stage one clear. Q E D. Save. Wait, is that gonna kill me? Like, I I hope that doesn't. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Stage one clear of Camellia three. That was, in all honesty, a fun boss, despite being like very very heavy on the RNG. It's actually really fun and that last avoidance like at first I thought it was going to be very bad but it didn't take me very long at all so I'm really happy about that and I'm, I'm really looking forward to stage 2 but that obviously in the next episode stage two, but till then, bye viewer.